Hello, in this tutorial we'll be creating two different HP bars, one circular and one rectangular, which will display and reflect the current HP percentage. First of all, let's create an image. Let's right click, go to UI and then image. Next let's select our canvas and change the UI scale mode to scale with screen size. Then let's go back to our image and place it in the centre. Here I have two images for two different type of need bars. These were simple images created from the default shapes in Photoshop. Before we use them, we'll need to convert them into sprites. Let's highlight both of them and then change their texture type to sprite. Let's then hit apply. Then on our image component, let's change the source image to our sprite. I'll firstly start off with the circle HP file. Then scale this up and move it to the side. Next let's add our rectangular bar, so let's duplicate this first image, drag it over to the right and then change our source image from the circle one to the rectangular bar. Then to get the correct proportions for the sprite let's hit set native size. Finally let's scale it down. Let's then name all of our game objects. We'll name this bar to HP bar background. Duplicate it, then just name this one's HP bar, and then this one will also change the colour from white to green. Next let's go to the image type and change it from simple to field. Under fill method, let's change it from radial 360 to horizontal. We'll then see when we adjust the fill amount, our HP bar will decrease and increase. Next let's move over to our HP bar circle image and get this effect also working. So let's come to our HP bar circle, change the image type from simple to field and then we can leave the fill method at radial 360 and when we change the fill amount we will see our HP bar decreasing and increasing. If we wish to change the start point for our bar all we need to do is change the fill origin to the start location we want. For now I'll just set it back to bottom. Next let's create a C-sharp script called hbbar and head into Visual Studio. First let's create two integers, one called current hp and the other called max hp. To see these both in the Unity Inspector, let's prefix them with a serialized field attribute. Next we'll need to get a reference to the image component. At the top let's add the using unity engine.ui statement and then create an image called image. In start let's retrieve our image from our game object by using the get component function. Let's also set the current HP equal to the max HP. Finally we'll need a float called percentage. In update let's set our percentage equal to the current HP divided by the max HP. As both current HP and max HP are integers, an integer value will be returned from this division operation, which is not what we want. We would like a decimal value between 0 and 1 to be returned. To fix this, let's simply cast either one into a float. Finally, let's assign image.fill amount percentage. Back in Unity, let's drag this new script we created onto our HP bar circle and HP bar game objects. Let's also make sure to set the max HP to something like 100. Then when we hit play and adjust our current HP, we can see both of our HP bars reflecting to show the current HP percentage. And with that, we now have two different HP bars working. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in the next.